Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably seen all of the hype around threads. Meta released their version of Twitter on July 5th and everyone is talking about this new Twitter rival. Today I'll explain how to use the threads app, how it works, any current limitations it has, and I'll also be sharing some other Twitter alternatives in case you've run out of your 600 allotted per diem tweets. All right, let's start with how it works. If you already have an Instagram account, you can log into threads with all the same login credentials and it'll transfer over all of your followers and people you follow from Instagram. So this is awesome if you already have a following or if you hate the beginning stages of starting a new app where the algorithm has to get to know you. If you already have people people you follow and like to follow on Instagram, it will give you the option to follow them on threads as well. It doesn't do this automatically. You do have to select the option during sign up. So if there's someone you don't want to follow, it doesn't automatically transfer everyone. Also, if you have someone blocked on Instagram, they'll automatically be blocked on your Threads account as well. If you're familiar with Twitter, it operates very similarly. You swipe and hold down to refresh Threads. You can reply to threads, repost threads or quote them, and you can also share your own threads or someone else's to your Instagram story, your Instagram feed, and ironically, Twitter. You can also share through a link to the thread, but what it doesn't currently have, which is important to note, is it doesn't have direct messages. I'm sure this is a feature they'll be rolling out, but they just don't have it right now. If you're not familiar with Twitter, Threads is an app that allows users to create conversation threads with supplemental pictures, videos, and links if they choose. A big difference between the two is character allowance. So you're able to use 500 characters in a thread compared to 280 if you're not a verified Twitter user and there's no limit on how many threads you can view a day. Again, unlike non-verified Twitter users who now can only view 600 tweets per day. So if you need more than that to fill your social media cup, Threads has your back. You can also post links, photos, and five minute videos. If you're not as familiar with Twitter, the home thread might be a little confusing. It is a mix of people you follow and people that Threads thinks you might be interested in. Also, as of today, July 6th, the Threads home feed is just everything. Where on Twitter, you can filter out by category like sports, entertainment, trending news, etc. In a press release, Meta said they are going to be continuing to roll out new features to help you discover new threads and creators you're interested in, including improved recommendations in feed and a more robust search function that makes it easier to follow topics and trends in real time. And that's something that is so important to Twitter users is the aspect of the news being real time. Overall, there are still plenty of limitations, but eventually I'm sure it's going to operate nearly identically to Twitter, but we're still in the early days. So if you're hoping it's going to work exactly like Twitter right off the bat, then you're probably going to be disappointed. But I'm happy to make updated videos as new features roll out. If anyone is interested in that, just let me know in the comments. Threads isn't the only competitor of Twitter at the moment though, so let's talk about a few others, starting with all the people who left Twitter to start their own apps. Blue Sky, I think, is the one that most people have probably heard of because it was founded in 2021 by Twitter's former co-creator and CEO, Jack Dorsey. It is currently an app that's invitation only. Blue Sky is operating on a concept of decentralized social media, which can give users control over their own data and algorithms. This concept is also shared by another Twitter alternative that I'll talk about in a little bit. Another app that was founded by former Twitter employees Alfonso Terrell and Davaris Brown is Spill, which combines text with images, GIFs, and videos. Spill was also launched this year in June and it's also still an invite-only platform. Next up, we have T2 Social. Gabor Cassell and Sarah O oh are former Twitter employees who co-founded T2 Social. It also has a very similar look and feel to Twitter, but it's still also on an invite-only basis. One that's not on an invite-only basis currently is Mastodon. I think Mastodon requires its own separate video because it definitely doesn't operate similarly enough to any existing social platforms to be intuitive in my opinion. So let me know if you're interested in a video on Mastodon in the comments. And lastly, we have Post News. Post is catered towards, you guessed it, news, and it prides itself on not having subscriptions or ads. Its goal is to allow users to access news content without having to subscribe to every news publication they want to read. Post has users make micropayments to access individual articles, allowing them to view content from multiple news outlets 
without having to subscribe to each one individually. And premium content costs just a few cents, according to a post press release. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of threads in the comments what features you're waiting for, if you're on any of these other Twitter alternatives, and what you think of them. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye.